Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who did this when he found out his girlfriend has been sleeping with another man. Here's the full story with three updates. She slept with him over a three month period, three years ago, at the beginning of COVID. She say she broke it off after three months because she wanted me, not him, and it was all just a horrible mistake. She then spent the past three years telling me that my suspicions around when it was happening, and my dreams of her cheating over the past three years, yeah, lots of them. I think my body and mind were trying to tell me something, was the cause of mental illness and I should seek help, which I did. Cost a lot of wasted money because it ended up that I was not telling the therapist what was really going on. Instead telling them I needed help because I feel terrible that I kept accusing my GF of doing something she wasn't doing. But she was. Then, two weeks ago, I get an anonymous email. From him, I'm guessing it has to be but he has not admitted anything. With pictures of her. Not nice ones that I want to see. Then we spend a whole night with me trying to get it out of her and it comes out in parts. First it was just some digital flirty messages and pics, video being sent, then it becomes sleeping with him for three months. Now she apparently desperately wants to reconcile with me. There's a part of me that wants to. I love her and can't imagine waking up without her. We had a perfect relationship that we always talked about how it was so great, and friends seemed and said they were envious of us. But I don't know if I can get past all of this deception and gaslighting. Very confused, sad and angry. I was then trickle truth for the past month and a half. First it was just pictures and videos sent to some guy three years ago. Then it turned into sleeping with him two times, three years ago. Then it turned into a year and a half online relationship with pics and videos. Then a three year online emotional relationship with pic, videos and the word love being tossed around. Then finally, last week I find out that another man I had suspected something was going on with was involved too. Right when she apparently felt bad and wanted to stop with the first guy and make things better with me. Around the beginning of this year, she decided to send and receive some crap with this new guy online. This all happened right under my nose while we were living together the entire time and she acted like nothing had ever happened. Literally lied to my face hundreds of times and told me she loved and cared for me. Anyhow, I am having a very tough time with all of the intrusive thoughts coming into my head from the three years that I have to go through and dissect. Try to reconcile as even after all of this vile, evil behavior, I still love her, I can't just turn it off. There were many years of happiness here and I want to at least try to salvage something. If that is possible, does anybody have any tips on how to cope with this kind of thing? How to push intrusive thoughts about her affair out? Tips on reconciliation? Anything. I haven't stopped crying, sobbing, at least once a day since it happened. She has truly broken my heart into a million pieces and my trust in her is shattered. I feel tiny and inadequate, like a piece of garbage that she tossed aside while with her AP, only to come back to me begging to reconcile once she realized he was a manipulative idiot and she was caught. I want to try to get some semblance of what we had back, but I don't know where to start. Thank you for reading. What actions, not words, has she taken to show she's worthy of reconciliation? She has 100% ended it with her AP, sent him a no contact letter and told him she loves me and wants nothing to do with him ever again. She has apparently been telling him this since the beginning of this year, but he has been continuing to stalk her and trying to convince her to leave me for him. She didn't block him on everything because she thought he may get pissed off and do what he eventually did anyways, which was tell me about the affair. She has also set up couples therapy for us, which we have done three sessions so far, and she is now in individual therapy. She is paying for all of it even though neither of us can really afford it. What actions, not words, has she taken to provide transparency going forward? She finally came out last week and told me everything, according to her, which included the news about the second guy at the beginning of this year, which was apparently very short-lived as she had already decided she wanted me, and realized that starting something else up was a stupid idea. I never had any idea about the first guy that lasts just over two years. I had many suspicion about this second guy that I had confronted her about many times. This all came out last week during what I would say was our best and most calm talk about all of this since I found out about it a month and a half ago. She now seems to be answering me with honesty when I ask her questions, meaning no defensiveness and answering no matter how terrible the answer sounds. What has she done to help you heal? Is she forthcoming with information or still minimizing and gaslighting? This is where we have been in a stall for a while. The lying continued right until last Friday when we had that good talk. So everything still feels very fresh to me. My anger and sadness is still met with anger and frustration from her sometimes. She has tried to be understanding and compassionate towards me, 
but it usually still ends in her getting angry at me and some yelling. To be fair, I am an absolute mess, alternately uncontrollably sobbing or getting angry at her, and placing a lot of blame and some name calling on her. I feel like this wasn't just a simple affair. She has left me with three years of memories to go over in my head, in which she had me convinced that we were a happy couple and nothing was going on. But I'm now realizing some of the hard truths that I can pinpoint that show that this was happening right in front of me. I sometimes still have to pull a little to get her to answer the harder questions honestly. What are you doing for yourself and your mental health? I am seeing a therapist as well and participating in the couple's therapy. But, I am having a very tough time dealing with this. Still as there is so much to go over in my head about the past three years and so many questions I have. My trust in her is still low and my emotions are very high. I am not doing well currently. We always had what we agreed was a very good relationship. And she says she still feels that way and that I did nothing to cause this, that it was all her selfishness. Very confused as to why she thought this was okay to do to someone she apparently has always loved so much, and why when I confronted her over the years about my suspicions, she decided to blame me and not let me make my own decisions about wanting to know the truth, as she says she was trying to protect me and our relationship. She didn't want what is happening right now to happen. She wanted to have her cake and eat it too. I should add that she has unlocked her phone so that I can look at it whenever I want to. And we now have a tracking app on both of our phones, so I can see where she or her phone at least is, at any time. She did this willingly but has spoken about how she feels like she has no privacy, and that bothers her a bit. So after that and about a month or so of trickle-truthing from her, the truth came to be that WP slept with AP three times back in 2019 to 20, and then carried on an online, sensual Ia with the same AP for the next two and a half years. She told him she loves him, but now she tells me that it wasn't love, it was infatuation. That lasted two and a half years. I started the affair the same month that my 17-year-old dog died, and I was in a bad place with it. I remember not wanting her to go to her father's place that weekend because I didn't really feel like being alone. We had a discussion about it and in the end, obviously, she went. Makes me even sadder about it all. Mixed into that time frame was another AP that she sent bare pics to for an apparently short period of time. So she basically just gave a couple of relative strangers. Both APs were known by her in high school. But she hadn't talked to them in over 20 years, their very own collection of crap for them to have forever. Starring my loving girlfriend of 13 years. Awesome. I had my suspicions throughout the past three years and had confronted WP about them on many occasions. Only to be met with gaslighting. Blaming it on my mental health. So that also happened regularly the whole time. WP says she put a stop to the whole thing with her AP in January of this year. She stopped sending pictures but stayed friends with him right up until D-Day in September. Interesting side note, in May of this year, I actually saw a text message from her AP while covertly looking through her phone. The text was, AP, I miss you baby. We should get a hotel together. WP, maybe. I was in shock, as by now I had been convinced by her that she wasn't cheating and I was just crazy and in need mental help which is what I told my friends, family and physicians, and I just left for work that morning without confronting her. When I got to work, I was freaking out and breaking down and all I could think to do was text my WP his name, to which I got no response until later that day when we were home together and she asked about it. And by this time I had forgot that I saw this text and why I sent one to her. Asked her if the name meant anything to her, she said no. Not sure why or how I forgot it. Shock. I remembered the whole thing about a month after D-Day. She remembers it too. I struggle with this a lot now. Brains are weird. Note, WP swears that she ended up saying no to this. She did not meet up with him for sex. But all I saw was maybe. WP desperately wants to reconcile. Says she hasn't wanted anything to do with AP since January. But he won't leave her alone about leaving me for him and gets all ragey about it all the time. WP kept AP as a friend because she was worried if she didn't stay friends with him, he would do. What he did, all of their contact after the first six months, three years ago, has been by phone. Apparently, there is zero proof of anything as she erased it as it came in. After she used it, traumatized is a good way to describe how I feel about this whole mess. And despite all this, I love my WP dearly. I always have. I love the warm home we have built together with our cat and dog that we both love so much. And in some ways during the past three months, I have seen the potential for an even better relationship than the one she killed if we can get past this. So I want to at least try. The last three months have been tough, to say the least. Lots of me thinking about the last three years and that brought literally one hundreds of now terrible conversations, situations, 
arguments and gaslighting. One of the worst being that I came to her with thoughts of self-destroying one time during this three-year period. She comforted me, and then went back to her affair knowing full well that she was of the cause of much of my stress. I had deteriorating mental health that started at the beginning of COVID. Talked about it with her and family, friends. We all knew it was a thing. Basically, it started at the same time that she brought her affair into our home. After the initial six-month physical part, lots of arguing. We've argued far more in the last three months than we ever have in our entire 13-year relationship. Both of us and I see an MC, less sleep, less food, physically and mentally drained, some good days, some really good days, way more of her getting mad at me than I expected. I can say some mean things sometimes and she has felt a lot of blame from me about this. Also, I always want to talk about the same things. I have been repeating questions a lot, but I hear that is normal in these situations. We are currently separated to get our heads straight after two months dealing with this under the same roof. The plan is to come back together around Christmas. So the reason I'm really here is I'm having a very tough time with this choice I've been given. Stay with the girl I'm madly in love with and try to move past all of these many cruel facts, or leave. When I look at everything, I say to myself, how can I stay with someone who would do all of this to me? Wouldn't I be disrespecting myself by staying with her? But I love her and us so much, and my WP has shown a great deal of genuine remorse for this mess, and is taking the needed steps to try to make things right with us. She is doing the work and in some ways I do see the potential for an even better relationship. Seeking advice. OP, she lacks the complete willingness to reconcile unless she severs ties with him. Her behavior remains self-centered as she continues to make excuses instead of blocking him. It is imperative that she joins IC to understand the underlying reasons behind her actions. She has a pattern of being unfaithful, and the likelihood of her changing this behavior without professional assistance is low. It's important to recognize that the fact you've been cheated on is not your responsibility, and it doesn't define who you are as a person. You have the right to maintain self-respect even if you choose to remain in a relationship with a cheater. The decision to stay might be influenced by codependency at times, but in other cases, it could simply be that some individuals possess a greater capacity for forgiveness and understanding. Regardless of your choice, I wish you all the best, and remember to prioritize your well-being and protect yourself. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.